In a for loop, it is also important to know about one other function called range. Let me demonstrate it with an example. Range.py is a program I'm creating for that. To illustrate range function. So what this function does is it provides a means for us to quickly generate a sequence of numbers. Say for example, I want to iterate a for loop 100 times. I don't have any list that has 100 elements in it. How do I run it 100 times without having a defined uh, list or a tuple or a dictionary in place with the 100 elements? range provides you with that option. You can call the range function like this, range, and you can provide a value within it, say 100, and what this does is, it quickly provides you with a sequence of 100 elements, starting from 0 till 99. Okay, so let us show you an example here. So I can use this in a for statement for element in range of 100 different element. Okay. Let me save this and execute this on .py. See, it printed all numbers from 0, it starts with the 0 and then it increments by 1 up till 99. Okay. So the value you provide within the range function that will not be part of the sequence. Okay. So, what if you want to um, start with a different uh, start range and a different uh, end range? Not necessarily, you don't want a sequence necessarily from uh, 0 through 99. What if you want to start with a 50 and go on till say 90? So, for that, you can provide a start and a stop sequence instead of just one value. So you can provide, if you want to start with 50, give 50, comma, and if you want up till 90, uh, if you want to include 90, then you need to give us 91 as the stop value. Okay, because the stop value you provide will not be part of the sequence. So if you want sequence, from 50 till 90, you need to provide the stop sequence as 91. And your start sequence sequence will be uh, 50. Okay. So this will generate a sequence of numbers starting from 50, incrementing by 1 up till 90. Let us save this and execute it. I clear the screen first. Python range.py so As you can see the start sequence was 50 and so it started with 50 and it incremented by 1 and then printed till 90 so the stop sequence was 91 so 91 was not included so it went on up till 90. What if we don't want to increment by 1? What if we want to increment by say 3? In that case, we need to provide 3 arguments. The start sequence, that remains the same. The stop sequence, we already saw that too. Then we give the step. Okay. 
let us save this and re-execute the program let me clear the screen and re-execute the program so we see that the start sequence was 50 and then the increment happens by 3 and it goes on till 90 so yeah 90 was not in the new increment by 3 since you got 89 up till 89 the next value will be 92 but since our stop sequence was 91 it stopped at 89 hope this is clear